Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kicking off the Healthy or Hype series with a hot topic, and that is going gluten free. So thank you guys so much for helping me choose to do this series. Uh, you guys sounded like you really were interested in doing something like this. So the structure that I have right now in my brain is I'm gonna present to you the pros of the topic and then the cons of the topic and that can help you choose what what your stance is on it and then at the end of the video I will give you my stance as a holistic nutritionist but I really just want to make these videos t for you guys to get both sides of the debate and so that you can choose for yourself what is right for you and what is healthy for you. So first of all, you probably know what gluten is, but if you don't, gluten is actually a protein that's found in grains like wheat or barley. Not all grains contain gluten, but a lot of them do, especially the ones that we process and use for flours and baked goods. Gluten is a very inflammatory protein, so that's why it gets a bad rap, but the structure of gluten is actually really important in baked goods to give them the texture that we're used to when we bite into a cookie or a piece of cake and we're like, yes, that texture is cake or that texture is a cookie. And that's why when you remove it out of baking, sometimes gluten-free products are bad. They're just, they're just not texturally appealing. First, let's start with the pros. So taking out gluten from your diet, considering it's an inflammatory protein, can be really, really great for some people if they're suffering from the inflammation from that protein. Of course, people with celiac, is, it's gonna make an enormous difference if you have celiac and you take out gluten. But it's not just celiac or other digestive disorders that benefit from taking out gluten. Um, if you have any sort of autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's or even if you have um, any sort of other thyroid problem like hyperthyroid too, that can benefit from taking out gluten. But joint pain or arthritis, headaches, migraines, having any sort of like inflammatory issue or severe health problem can benefit from taking out gluten from one's diet. Another claim is that you'll get rid of your gluten brain. So a lot of times when people are sensitive to gluten and they eat gluten, they get really bad brain fog or like an out of body, like not quite with it in reality type of experience. And then probably the most popular reason other than health related is for weight loss. A gluten-free diet done correctly uh, is said to be able to help you with weight loss. Now the other good thing about going gluten free right now is that there are tons of resources out there to help you and it's become very popular. There are books, there are great websites, and a lot of menus these days offer gluten free and gluten sensitive options. Even fast food places like Noodles have a good gluten free menu as well. Now the cons of going gluten free. Number one is a lot of people think that simply taking gluten out means that they're going to be healthier. And if you're buying processed foods that are gluten free, a lot of times they're even worse and they're more inflammatory than their glutinous components. So if you're buying like pre-made gluten free cookies or cupcakes or muffins, a lot of times to counteract the funky texture, they're adding a lot more refined oil or a lot more sugar, and they're actually less, they actually have less nutrients in them and significantly more anti-nutrients. The next thing that I found is that because gluten-free is so cool right now, we're getting a lot of really just dumb marketing directed at the people who do not read labels or don't know how to read labels and a lot of companies are just slapping gluten free on a box and that food never contained gluten. For instance, like I see popcorn with gluten free on it, some sort of like vegetable medley and it said gluten free on it and I was like, duh. I feel like it enables people to be ignorant about their diets as well. Another thing about going gluten free that is a con is that it's actually a lot more intense than just cutting out certain grains. A lot of times 
gluten is added to sauces and you really have to be diligent about making sure you're figuring making sure you know what you're ingesting be a hot button in this issue is how to test to see if somebody needs to be gluten-free. Really the only way to tell if you actually have celiac is through a rigorous course of tests. There are sensitivity tests that a holistic practitioner can order th for you, but they're not 100% accurate. And really the best way to figure out is if you are sensitive or intolerant to gluten is to take it out of your life for three to four weeks and then reintroduce it and see like eat a bunch of it for three days and then see how you feel over the next week. And if you felt worse, then you know that you're sensitive to gluten. If you felt no different, then you might not be sensitive to gluten at all. So my take on gluten is not everybody is sensitive to it. And while it's not the healthiest dietary food, I don't feel like if you're sensitive, if you're not sensitive to gluten at all, there's really no need to completely cut it out of your diet. If you are sensitive to gluten or you have those other health problems that could make you be sensitive to gluten or gluten could be making them worse, certainly cut it out and see how you do. Is it healthy or is it hype? That depends on how you do it. If you are eating a nutrient dense, gluten-free diet and you're eating a lot of vegetables and greens and some fruits and some whole grains that don't include gluten, then yes, that is totally healthy and it could be extremely beneficial for you if you are sensitive to gluten. Now, on the other hand, if you are eating just as much processed food as before or purely processed food or 90% processed food or 50% processed food, even though it's gluten-free, you're not gonna be any healthier and you might even be getting less nutrients and more anti-nutrients than you were on your regular diet. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Healthy or Hype. Please let me know in the comments below what food or nutrient or dietary topic you would like me to cover next time. Let me know in the comments below what your stance is on gluten and we can continue the debate in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.